so this one's special to me. It's the 1999 base set first edition and I'm trying to complete the entire thing. So this one for $100 with 8 minutes left, even though it has 24 bids, is still relatively good. Considering, if you look at the price history, $141 is average for the PSA 10, but I mean it sold as high as $350. 227, 149, 163. $100 at 8 minutes is incredible. I'm willing to go up to 165 for this one. It's very important to me. I'm I've been trying to complete the base set for a long time. I've gotten a couple in the recent bids for the base set. So so far I've managed to snag the Ponyta first edition. Keep in mind, this set has 102. The Voltorb, of course, first edition PSA 10 1999 base set. Ratata. Ratata. <laughs> PSA 10 first edition. I will complete this set. It's a big thing for me. So in seven minutes, as you see on the screen, I'm going to try to steal this one. Hopefully, most of the people that were bidding on this are still asleep. Or they went to sleep and they forgot about this. And they set their little boundaries for whatever it is. I think $35. If it doesn't go up any higher from where it's at right now, 100 bucks until the time goes down to 30 seconds, I think 135 wins it. I'm afraid I might have to go higher, but we'll see. I really want this card. I, I need this card. The Evolved Form Radicate PSA 10. And maybe my top three cards in this entire set. I've always loved this card. I remember it very vividly. Onyx. It's a good art. It's an interesting card. And so here's a utility card, a.k.a. Bill. And as you can see, I'm going for another utility with the full hill. This is the only utility I have so far. This, this is the last card I have so of the base set. So... One, two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully this will make number seven. Let's go ahead and look at some price charts on this one. So this is interesting. Just two months ago, sold for 163, 141, 102, 96. But at January of this year, seven months ago, it sold for 350. Let's see if that one's available to look at. Yep. One available, one sold, PSA 10, 350 bucks. And here we go for this one. Five minutes left with 100. Let me know in the comment section down below, do you guys collect Pokemon cards? And if you do, tell me what you're trying to achieve. Are you trying to achieve a fossil set, base set? What is it? Speaking of that, I also managed to scoop up a Jungle Booster First Edition. So let me just say my goal with these, I'm going to open some on camera. But the majority of the ones I'm trying to collect, I'm going to hold them. I might send some in for grading because I just want to state it's very vital to collect as many vintage packs as you can because there's going to be a day where you're just not going to be able to buy them. It's going to be that simple. The, the, especially like if you look back, um, shout out Pokerev. Let's go ahead and look at his channel. So today he had a video where he opened the rarest Pokemon pack in the world. That's insane. It's $10,000. It was a weighted card. I'm not going to spoil it. Go watch his channel. He's an amazing Pokemon open packer. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is these vintage packs are going to run out. It's going to happen. So you need to get your hands on as many as you can. Because the truth is they're being opened every day. 
and no one knows how many of these are available. So I'm going to try to collect as many as I can, and I'm also going to be opening them live on camera. So, all right, let's check back now and see. Three minutes, twenty-four bids, still at a hundred bucks. I'm going to take this card. <laughs> I'm literally going to take this card, so. Anything under 150 is an absolute steal. Like, okay, so this is Price Chart. If you guys aren't familiar with Price Chart, it's a website where basically you can track a lot of stuff. But I mainly use it for Pokemon cards. You can track PSA 10s, PSA 9s, ungraded, whatever. You can make an account, log in, and you can actually... Select the cards that you own and build a sort of portfolio and track track the prices, the market value of all your cards, which is super useful. So, but I will tell you, the PSA 10s for the base set first editions, they're always underpriced. And what I mean by that is, this says 141, but if you ever got this card for less than 141 for the PSA 10 right here. That's a steal. It's a huge steal because they don't sell for less than that. This is a very good price. But we have two minutes left at $100. So as long as I can get it for less than $141, it's an amazing deal. But I'm, I mean, I'm willing to pay up to $180 or $165, $170. I'll see how the bidding goes. Normally, there's two minutes left, right? So in the last 30, 45 seconds, that's when people start really bidding. And you're going to see this price probably shoot up from 100 to 115 or so. But, like I said, this is going to go to the collection. I'm not trying to flip this, not trying to sell this, not trying to give this card away. I have a very soft place in my heart for the first base set, first edition. There was only so many made, right? And no one knows the exact amount that survived. No one knows how many booster packs are actually left. It's $10,000 to buy one booster pack that's weighted, which means there's guaranteed to be a hollow. So it's getting wild out there. And people are opening these packs every single day, like I said. So here we go. We're closing in on a minute. Put those there for safekeeping. And let's focus on this. So if you take a look at the card, I mean, it's, it's absolutely, I already looked at it. It's absolutely flawless. Like maybe, I don't know if you can see it, but the bottom right down there, a little white speckling, but it, and maybe in the left, a little, a little wear and tear on the bottom corner, but it's a 10 and it's a beautiful card. 40 seconds left. Whew. Boy, I want this card so bad. I want this card. So it's the best deal. I, I monitor this stuff, guys. I look for the PSA 10s first editions base set every single day I wake up. This is the cheapest I've ever seen one card from that set. So And it's shadowless. It's insane. It's insane. Come on, 117. If I walk at 117, bro, no way I walked at 117. I'm the highest bidder at 117. There's no way. We're determining the winner. All right. <laughs> if I snagged it at 117, I swear. Guys, one more piece has been added to the collection. Thank you so much for joining in on this auction. I just took this for 117 bucks. That's well below the PSA value on price chart, which means I just had one of the best buys on eBay for the base set Pokemon First Edition. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and I hope to see you guys again.